welcome back guys for the next part from question 81 200 uh, so question number 81 the question was um, a question had mentioned uh, she did microfilaria with two nuclei at the tail end and uh, it was asked that which one it is which uh it is so the answer for this will be goja malai that is the one that has nuclei at the tail end which does not have any uh, nuclei at the tail end and the onco is unshaded so that's not the answer uh, there was a question regarding opioid toxicity what will be the management only the direct choice and in the option both naloxone and naltrexone was given uh, but uh, i have marked nal naloxone i think that will be the answer even our sir even uh, dr ranjan had taught us that the direct choice for opioid toxicity in naloxone so that will be the answer uh, question was, uh, 83 was that um, person had features <coughs> of hepatitis and his hvs antigen was positive and uh, igm anti hcv is positive and anti hcv is negative so what is it so it was a simple question it is an acute hepatitis b infection so question number 84 is uh, there was an image of a wound on the palm aspect of the hand this was an interesting question um no it was at the site of proximal interphalangeal joints uh, so the multiple cuts were there so what was this uh, was it a post-mortem wound a defense wound i think the answer for this is the defense wound um, most likely is a defense wound. Uh, so moving on to the next question. Uh, this question was a new question. Organization providing fund for schools to grow trees. So uh, providing funds for school to grow trees. And I have uh, even uh, our Sir points and has answered this question. Uh, the answer for this is UNICEF, UNICEF. And thankfully I had guessed it right. UNICEF is the answer, not UNDP or CARE. And uh, complex for inhibitor repeated question. What is the answer for this? The answer will be cyanide. Cyanide will be the answer, or the other blockers are carbon monoxide. <coughs> question number 87 folding of DNA is done by which uh, which of these? So, what is one in nucleoprotein? The answer for this is stone. The stone will uh, join with the DNA and form the nucleosome, and that's how it helps in, uh, helps in folding of the DNA. Question number 88. Uh, clinical string question was there of a child with abdominal pain, jaundice, icterus, uh, conjunctal, conjunctal insufflation, and what is the diagnosis? So, the answer for this is leptospirosis. Most probably the answer is leptospirosis based on the based on the characteristic features. Conjunctal insufflation. Answer should be leptospirosis. The best method to monitor the AIDS treatment is after starting the antiretroviral therapy. The best method is P24 assay viral load. I don't know the other options, but the best answer for this is viral load. We, we will uh, see the viral load. Question number 90 History of splenomegaly in a 40 year old male with blood picture um, showing various uh, cells of myeloid cells like metamyelocyte and, uh, the, and the others. What is the difference that it involves? So, this is basically um, the classical history of CML, and the answer for this will be translocation 922 that is the Philadelphia chromosome. Uh, question number 91. Uh, drug the choice of acute iron poisoning after consuming several ferrous tablets. The issue was given that the person had consumed a number of uh, ferrous tablets. So, what will be the management? So, uh, the management for this is desferoxamine, that is uh, for both the acute and chronic iron poisoning. The management is desferoxamine, not penicillin or DMSA. The image of eye was given with the issue of rheumatoid arthritis and they, are, uh, and they asked us to identify whether it is severe staphylama or scleromalacia preference. So the answer with, uh, for this is uh, scleromalacia preference. Uh, our uh, sub pencil has told that this is the answer. I was thinking of this as the answer because the history of rheumatoid arthritis was given, but but I had marked severe staphylama, so even I got this wrong. Uh, question number 93. The history of sinusitis has given dichromatous branching is mentioned at less than 45 degree and infer the organism and history of recurrent sinusitis. Uh, recurrent sinusitis. So this is most probably allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. So the answer for this will not be rising because it will be aspergillosis, aspergillus. Question 94, study, uh, what cardio, this is a very nice question. They said cardio wide discharge in a female. What will be the culture to identify different species? This is the most important line that to identify different species. We obviously know cardio wide discharge is candida, but most of us, uh, I think, including me, Mark SD Agar, but uh, uh, the question has asked one in five different species. So the answer for this is perm agar. Uh, Ma'am had taught this question, but still I marked it wrong as SD agar because that was the first option. And I just marked it uh, saying that it is candida, but the answer is from agar for this. Question number 95, image of kidney was given with enlarged calyces. So this is another one of the controversial questions. Many people are saying the answer is putty kidneys, tag on calculus. But I think it is ureteropelvic junction obstruction. 
because uh, if you look at the image clearly they had <coughs> you could see the blunting of the calyces the, uh, the blunting that is seen in hydronephrosis so basically it is a case of perinatal hydronephrosis and that is caused by the rotopelvic junction obstruction so that should be the answer uh, who step approach includes all except so i didn't know this question uh, the answer for this is uh, the answer for this is therapeutic it includes this all for this basically done for the non-communicable diseases and it does not include therapeutic approach uh, question number 97 the clinical question was there regarding a dimorphic fungi this was a big clinical stream question where they said at 37 degrees Celsius it goes as east and and basically it was a dimorphic fungi and they had mentioned something about red pigment production on the opposite side so identify the fungi and management uh, the answer for this is um, uh, Teleromyces and Amphotericin B will be the answer for this. Um, uh, it has been discussed. Ma'am has shown us that this is the answer. I didn't find this image. So this was another question um, which was something like not very common. They asked what is this. So the answer for this is pseudo exfoliation. Uh, this is case of pseudo exfoliation syndrome. Question 99. A person with an ulcer near nasolabial fold slowly growing and is ulcerative. The biopsy picture was given. So this is most surely the answer for this should be melanoma. Uh, sorry, sorry, not melanoma. I mean uh, basal cell carcinoma. Uh, that is slowly growing and uh, the biopsy resembled that. I think so. That should be the answer. Basal cell carcinoma. Now the question number one hundred. So image of anogenital warts was given with potency. Most important thing is that they had mentioned that uh, it has the potency to cause from a cell carcinoma. Or oh, the causative virus will be so. The, all the, the two options I don't remember, but HIV, HPV 11 and HPV 18 uh, was given, and many of the people um, are saying that it should be HPV 11, but I think it will be HPV 18. It should be at the high risk HPV because they have mentioned it that uh, it has uh, the potential to cause from a cell carcinoma, and that is caused by the high risk HPV that is HPV 16 and 18. So, thank you guys. <coughs> that, that is half of the question we were done, guys. Um, uh, but uh, sorry to disappoint you, I'll not be able to do any more questions today. I'm not feeling very well, and I was already sick. I gave the exam with cold, but I think I have to take rest. But I promise you, tomorrow I will come with the rest of the questions. So stay tuned, guys, and by tomorrow, all the questions will be done. Thanks for all the love, and share it with your friends yeah, so that they will they can see the answers. And uh, mention in your scores in the comments. Let's see. Mom, you guys got out of 100. Thank you. Good night.